On December 1st, 1955, Rosa Louise Macaulay Parks was arrested for civil disobedience. That day marked the birth of a new revolution. And the news of her arrest felt like wildfire. Everyone knew her at the town, so we gave her the crown and called her our mother of the civil rights movement that begged for improvement. Black and white, black and white, black and white. Don't ride the bus, what was told to us. Those dirty buses don't know who they messing with. The thoughts of mighty whiteies was all a myth. Black and white, black and white, black and white. Her case was a disgrace to the African race, who knew their rightful place of the king, our leader, who acted as our mind reader. Black and white, black and white, black and white. Those no Negro signs made us feel disgusted by kicking us out and making us die for our lives because of the KKK's driving by who we distrusted. Black and white, black and white, black and white. They formed alliances with the authorities and left numerous Africans as minorities. He knew what we were feeling by healing our hearts. So we looked up at the ceiling and asked for God who gave us the strength to fight these white cops. Black and white, black and white, black and white. And everyone else who was against our will was filled with bitterness, hatred, and wanted to kill. So on April 12, 1963, the dream became alive. The King's speech inspired our souls to be revived. Freedom with no limits is what we desire. Black and white, black and white, black and white. The march on Washington began on 16th Avenue Baptist Church into a waiting police wagon. Eight clergy members criticized his campaign. Saying it was unwise and untimely, he was sent to Birmingham jail and wrote a letter stating, Never before have I written so long a letter. I'm afraid it is much too long to take your precious time. I can assure you that it would have been much shorter if I had been writing from a comfortable desk. But what else can one do when he is alone in a narrow jail cell? Black and white, black and white, black and white. Other than write long letters, think long thoughts and pray long. Black and white, black and white, black and white. That was smuggled out of jail in a toothpaste tube to avoid the jail guards from calling each other dude. We realized that we couldn't achieve our goal if we didn't all revolt as a whole. Black and white, black and white, black and white. Hey y'all, it's time to go back to my sister Rosa. I remember that day. I only knew as I was being arrested that it was the very last time that I would ever write in humiliation of this kind. I was charged with a violation of Chapter 6, Section 11. Technically, I had been sitting on the color section of the bus, but because I refused to give up my seat to a white man, I was arrested. I swore I'd never ride bus 2857 again. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Black and white, black and white, black and white. Unequal voting rights were no more. All because of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Its duty was to guarantee all citizens equal protection of the laws under the 14th Amendment and to protect the voting rights under the 15th Amendment. Black and white, black and white, black and white. JFK called for this bill so that segregation could go down the hill. We were pushing for equal rights, no more fights. Black and white, black and white, black and white. We preach freedom around the world and we mean it and we cherish our freedom here at home but are we to the world and much more importantly to each other that this is the land of the free except for the Negroes, that we have no second class citizens except Negroes, that we have no class or case system, no ghettos, no master race except with respect to the Negroes.